definite glow up in today's video. We start with Glowy SPF from Kosis, who are doing their Dream Beam in the new shade Sunlit now. And then we're going to hop over to take a look at Iris and Romeo and their Weekend Skin Mineral SPF. Then we hop over to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmic Collection, trying on the lip gloss, the new eye gloss, and the Space Dust Powder. Hello, print cesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, we're going to talk all about some products that are perfectly shimmery, just divinely illuminating, and possibly timed right, considering it's festival season. I mean, here in California, Coachella is this coming weekend, depending upon when you're seeing this video. I used to attend all of these things when I did magazine editorial stuff. I don't really have to anymore. And I'm kind of glad to be out of it as my daughters are looking to be going. You know how that is, the passing of the festival torch, as I suppose it should be called. So we're going to look at these. They're not necessarily just for festivals, of course, um, but we got all sorts of good products to talk about from Kosis, Iris and Romeo, and Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm super glad to have you here with me. Don't forget that you can also catch my content over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. If you are short on time, I, there's a lot of people that have asked me for one or the other of these products. So if you're short on time, please make use of the very, very descriptive timestamps that I have below this video and in the description bar so that you don't have to waste your time and you can get to what you need quite quickly. Okay, if I sound a little out of it today, a little spacey, um, and if my voice might sound a little bit strange, I did have an emergency wisdom tooth pull this morning. Yeah, I, I didn't see it coming either. Just last night I got a toothache, went in this morning and they're like, yep, that's gotta come out and it's out. So I have a big hole in my face and I have like gauze. I just took my gauze out to record this video. <laughs> so so if I look a little bit like, ah, you're like, what's wrong with Rebecca? That, that's why I had dental surgery this morning. I know, I know, it's crazy. I'm gonna take a nap after this. All right, so let's talk about what we've got going on here and then we're gonna try it all on um, as I do have the demo recorded already. The first thing I wanna talk about that's perfect for spring and entering into the warmer months, depending on where you live and what hemisphere, but for so many of us going into the warmer months of summer, we have the Kosas Dream Beam Sunlit. This is the sparkly, illuminating, bronzy version of their original sunscreen, which I have right here. Now the original sunscreen, which is mineral and tinted, why do they tend to tint mineral sunscreen? Because mineral sunscreen can have a little bit of a flashback on camera where it can look a little bit white. So when you add a little tint to it, it just makes it more natural. It's not so much that it's supposed to be uh, the shade of your skin, it's just supposed to take away any sort of a white flashback or a white cast that sometimes mineral sunscreen gets the blame for, right? Okay, so this is it. And I didn't mind this product at all, but I, I didn't have a lot of love for it in my community. A lot of you guys didn't like this. And I'm hearing the same about this one too, but we're gonna try it. This is the newest one. It is SPF 40 PA++++. It can be used alone or as a primer. You know, it has zinc oxide and all that good stuff. And it is at Sephora on the sale, so I wanted to get it up in case. Um, we are going to swatch it, but let me just show you it really quickly. We're gonna swatch it in two different lights. But this is it as compared to its original. So I just put the uh, new sunlit on my skin and I'm going to just do a little bit of a quick uh, comparison. Oh, the original's gotten a little bit thicker. Okay. So both are the same thing, but a different tint. Here is the original. Here is the new. Okay. And if I just kind of blend them out a little bit, this is a lot more of kind of a bronzy shade and the other for me blends into my skin tone. But for a lot of people would just go translucent completely. So that is the difference in those two Kosas products. And it is $40. Okay, now let's move up in price a little bit and in prestige a little bit, to be honest, to a brand called Iris and Romeo. Now Iris and Romeo were kind enough to send me this, but I've been had my eye on this brand for a while. Iris and Romeo is a brand that uh, is very minimal, makes beautiful products that are supposed to kind of make our 
supposed to. They do make our lives easier, combining skincare ingredients and traditional, you know, brows and complexion products, lip products, things like that, that make our day quicker, easier to get together and combine a lot of skin loving and skin caring elements. So I am holding up the Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin. This is a mineral SPF 50. Um, this is $50 as opposed to the Kosas 40, but like I said, it's, it's going up a little bit in terms of luxury product. This one also has vitamin C. It's fragrance free and reef safe. It has three shades. I'm holding the Universal Glow, which we're gonna try on today. No glitter or anything like that. But they also have two warmer shades, including a brand new bronze glow, if your skin tone calls for that. So check that out. And we are gonna put these two up against one another today, both as something you can wear just on your skin only, with a little bit of concealer this summer and as an SPF full primer. So we're gonna try them both ways. I'm excited about that. But we're continuing on with this sort of festival vibe, I suppose, by talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly Hills has just launched what they're calling their Cosmic Collection. And it feels very Norvina to me and certainly very festival, but it's actually done very subtly and quite well. If I had done this intro, before I had done the demo, I might think differently, but I am informed by the demo and fairly impressed. So the Cosmic Collection consists of five Cosmic named glittery shades. And these five shades are done across three different products. And I glossed a space dust powder and matching lip gloss. So you can get the same shade in all three. Basically one is an eye gloss. It's a gel eyeshadow that can be used alone or as a base. It could go onto the face even if you want to highlight with it, um, but it is kind of a gel. And then I got, of the five shades, I got this in the shade Galaxy. But remember, all three of the products come in all five of the shades, so you can mix and match or layer. The Space Dust Powder I got in the shade Supernova. That is $26. The um, eye gloss is also $26. This is a multi-dimensional highlight for eyes, face, or body. It can be used wet or dry. Highlighting, you can stick it on the lips if you want. It is the typical kind of slightly glitterier, glitterier shadow where it has the little stopper that you pull in and out and that the brands always recommend that you keep in there. And we're gonna play with that today. I got that in the shade Supernova, the eye gloss I got in Galaxy. And then the lip gloss, which is 20, also comes in the same five shades. And I picked up this one in Supernova as well. You're seeing it now with a liner underneath it, but we will also try it on all by its lonesome as well. And as you mix and match these, you can also mix and match the intensity of the sparkle. And I will give Anastasia Beverly Hills some credit here in that they, uh, it's not overdone. It doesn't fall all over your face. It isn't sharp particles of glitter. I'm actually, I'm not a huge glitter fan, but for review purposes, I'm actually impressed with it. So if you like glitter, and it's not really marketed to me, you know, but if you really love that kind of glitter, um, you could enjoy this without being annoyed by glitter falling into your eyes and things like that. It's actually quite wearable so I'm super impressed with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's take a look at some swatches here. First of all, in studio lighting, we have the sunscreens and the Anastasia Beverly Hills product. Here is first off from left to right, the Kosas Sunbeam Sunlit Sunscreen, and then the Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin in Universal Glow, followed by the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmic Collection Eye Gloss in Galaxy, Space Dust Powder in Supernova, if you can see that, and the Lip Gloss in Supernova. But to see it better, let's take it outside. It's a hot one today, too, into the warm California sunshine. And here we go again. Kosa Streaming in Sunlit, Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin in Universal Glow, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Gloss in Galaxy, Space Dust Powder in Supernova, and Lip Gloss in Supernova. Very pretty. What do you think? I'm actually impressed. All right, I wanna to go to the demo now so we can try all of these things on. Do me a favor and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel first, as it certainly helps me grow. All right, speaking of grow and glow, let's get into some glow as this episode continues. Okay, let's start off with our glowy sunscreen products and I will attempt 
probably poorly, but bear with me, to divide my face in half so we can kind of compare the two. You know, as I said, Kosas only has this one shade, sunlit shade. Pretty packaging though. Okay, so let's try the Kosas on one side of my face. Now this is sunscreen, so I can use my hands, right? We've had so much debate about that lately. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put this on all over my face. Oh, it looks so deep, but I think the idea is that it gives me a sunlit glow. I should tell you, I am remiss in not telling you, that perhaps it's from using that Natasha Denona new product uh, yesterday, depending upon when you're watching this. I did put a little bit of concealer on first. This isn't gonna give me a lot of coverage, but I knew I needed a concealer. And as people asked with the Natasha Denona product, could you put concealer on second? Go ahead. The reason I did it first in the Natasha Denona video is because that's how she did it. Uh, but I'm not gonna call the makeup police on you. Okay, that's actually quite pretty, isn't it? So we have concealer on in this side of my face I have just done in this brand new Kosas product, which you can get at the Sephora sale right now, if you so choose, save a little bit of money. It's kind of pretty, so it needs that. If you wanted to use this as a little bit of a glowy sunscreen under foundation, you could do that too. And we'll we'll try that a little bit afterwards, okay? All right, let's try our Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin. And this is the Universal Glow, but there's two other shades. Uh, the Bronze Glow is new, they've added to it. But this is kind of the Universal for any skin tone. And this is a little bit of a thicker product which I like because as a sunscreen, it makes me feel really kind of covered. I like that a lot. And as I said, for full transparency in the universal tone, uh, Iris and Romeo were kind enough to send this on over to me. It feels very, very nice on the skin. I'm gonna run it down the neck because it does need that. A little goes a long way with the Iris and Romeo. It's a lot. Um, thicker and you need to use a lot less of the product. Okay, now I'll get this mirror away. Of course, we're not comparing like shade to like shade, but the products are very similar. This is the new Kosas kind of dream bean sunlit look in only one shade. And here is the Iris and Romeo. This is in the universal shade right here, universal glow, but it's got two deeper shades, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Iris and Romeo is a lot thicker. I, I feel like I have more of a, more coverage from it as well, actually. Um, the Kosas is definitely more highlighty, more illuminating. And what does highlight do that we know? Highlight brings things forward. So when you're wearing highlight, it will often accentuate pores skin imperfections, etc., etc. So I am noticing that much, much more on the Kosas side, much more. I see highlighted pores uh, around my nose, on my cheeks, uh, and on the forehead. And with the Iris and Romeo, I am not seeing any pores highlighted. It's a thicker, creamier look, and there's no, yeah, it's much more like a, li a little bit of a glow, a lot of a sunscreen, and some coverage as well, which is actually quite nice. So just on glancing, I prefer the Iris and Romeo. I prefer the feel of it upon application. I feel like it, it, it just kind of feels nice too. And you are seeing, of course, a shade difference. All right, let me take this outside into the warm. California sunshine, so you could take a look at the difference. And I will put my hand on the Kosas side, just so you kind of remember what you're looking at there. The other side without my hand will be the Iris and Romeo side. Okay, now let's say you wanted a little more coverage and you wanted to use one of these glowy sunscreens as simply a primer, will they pill, etc., etc. Well, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now we have, you know, we're going into differences of foundations and skin tints and uh, serum foundations and such that people choose. So I just grabbed a fairly new one that's a little bit matte and could probably use a little bit of a lustrous boost and that is the Face Bond from Urban Decay. I will put that review right up there because we have done that already. But let's go ahead and put this over. It should also kind of even out our complexion a little bit here. 
as I am two different colors. I doubt anyone would ever notice. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush to just put it over and we'll see how it feels and if it pills. And I'll do this all very quickly without making you guys sit through it. Okay, so that certainly evened it out. When I put a complexion product over it, a foundation, in this case it was the new Urban Decay, which I do like quite a bit actually. Uh, and I think it does give it, I love a little bit, I've told you this before, but I love taking a foundation that's generally matte and then using a primer that's glowy or a matte primer with a glowy foundation over. I love the mix of those two. I just think they bring life to one another so I don't tend to do glowy with glowy, matte with matte. And I think that's actually really fun. Still right now, we'll let it wear a little bit longer, but still liking the look of the Iris and Romeo a little more. Um, not surprised because I have, a lot of people don't like the Costas sunscreen. I, I used my original and I like it very much. And I actually like this one too, but given the two products so far, I am preferring the uh, Iris and Romeo. All right, now let's get on to our Anastasia Beverly Hills shades as we go into our little festival review here. Let's start with the lip gloss. So all of these come in the same five shades. I got the lip gloss, as you know, in Supernova. I love a good Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss. They're always nice. I'm gonna wear this without any sort of liner. I could go crazy and put the powder on it. Seeing as I'm not 23 and at a festival, that looks a little silly. Ah, yes, a typical Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss. They're always really nice, really comfy. Not too thick, not too thin. Okay. Really pretty, would do well with a liner, I think, to be honest. Okay, let's go ahead and look at these other two shades, and I wanna get a little bit of blush on first so we're not kind of ruining a look, so give me a moment. All right, I took the opportunity to get a few things done and take a two hour break for a wear test. That's all we had, but that's fine. I mean, I've reviewed this face bond, so we know that that lasts and lasts. But I was able to kind of get some opinions down on these slightly glowy SPF. I prefer, as I did earlier, the Iris and Romeo both alone and as a primer. Nothing is pilling. It works really, really well with this foundation, of course. And I don't mind the Kosas, but it is pixelating a little bit more and interacting a little bit more with the uh, foundation uh, than the Iris and Romeo, which is just a nice thicker um, layer between the foundation and my skin. I think both are good, both are fun, both are great for summer, but yeah, if I were you, I would check out the Iris and Romeo one, so I'm actually glad that they sent that to me because I really do enjoy it. The other thing I did while I was off camera, obviously I had to reapply our Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Supernova Lip Gloss, but I took the opportunity, since you had seen it before, of adding in a little, I grabbed a Mario lip liner, I like his lip liners, and this is the shade Hue, and I lined my lips and eh, just put a little bit of it on and then added the gloss over, and I like that a lot better. This is a very pretty, sparkly gloss. Is it a necessary one? Absolutely not. There are a lot of pretty sparkly glosses. I feel like I'm gonna say that about our other items in the Cosmic Collection, but we shall see. First thing we wanna do is we've got our Space Dust Powder here, but let's go ahead first and do this eye gloss. Eye glosses are an interesting thing. And I don't know if you've heard me say this before. I have always, my whole makeup life, loved the idea of an eye gloss. And it's never really worked out for me. Eye glosses are highly editorial and they generally crease and they don't really behave. But you know, I'm always attracted to them. And this is kind of a kind of a Norvina-y, festival-y gloss. So let's just try it, shall we? Let's try it. They are always so pretty, and then they all but they're always so sticky and heavy on the eyelids. You can always feel you have them on. Now, here's, the, here's what I will give this. I will give this that it's not too outrageous. See it right there? Obviously, this eye doesn't have any. It's not too outrageous. I would actually say that's actually kind of pretty. Let's do the other eye. Uh, 
And I'm really trying to put a lot of it on. I think we'll add the other over it. I don't feel ridiculous. I felt these would be very costumey uh, before I tried them on, but I have to say it's a gentle shimmer. Uh, there's no grit. I do not feel any sort of glitter. Um, I can see tiny little glitter particles just like I can in the gloss, but actually that's quite pretty. It's a very subtle shimmer. It's actually very nice, isn't it? Very subtle. Okay, maybe it won't be so subtle when we add the Space Dust Powder. Now, the eye gloss is the only one I got in a different shade. I decided to get Galaxy, but I thought it went well enough with the Space Dust Powder and Supernova. And as you know uh, from our intro, you got this little stopper to pull out, and it's got a shaker, but it's just pretty much intense glitter. So let's let's do some on the eyes and see what we think. I just coated the brush with it. Oh, okay, this could be... Now it's not going to be so subtle anymore. So let me just do like maybe a little stripe of it. <laughs> uh, and I'm trying to decide if I should do this. See, this is this is the most out there product among the releases for this cosmic collection. And I feel like, okay, let's do a little bit. You know, I don't really know how to go in. Let me just take my hand across the rim there because I don't want to get too crazy. Okay, I'll take a dry brush and go in there. I am not a fan. This is diamondy, sparkly. You know what's interesting though? Um, it doesn't have a lot of fallout. Like I'm putting it here on the cheeks and it's not going all over my chin. I mean, kudos to them for doing a glitter product. Glitter products aren't my thing, but kudos to them for doing a glitter product that seems to actually kind of behave itself and does indeed look pretty on the eyes. And this eye gloss, another kudos here, this eye gloss is, is also behaving as well. I mean, it's not, um, you know, normally, if you are a fan of eye gloss, talk, you can talk about it down below. Normally you can feel it on your eyelids, weighing it down. I can't feel this one. Kind of just feels like I put on a powder eyeshadow, to be honest with you. And um, the other thing is it's just like immediately creases. And this is not. That's actually a pretty product. Look, if you're looking for a glitter product, and you want one that's not too out there, this, th believe it or not, this Cosmic Collection actually works. I thought it was gonna be out there and crazy, and that I wouldn't like it, which is why I just got one shade of everything. I thought, let's just see if we like it. Um, actually, for glitter products, it's quite pretty and really fun. And I'll tell you that this summer, I will wear this Iris and Romeo completely on its own. I would probably end up sticking the Kosas under something, you know, just to give something matte, a little bit more life. But I'll wear the Iris and Romeo completely on its own festival or not. I'm not going to any festivals this year. Um, but, yeah. Those are some pretty products. And I evened out the face by putting a foundation over it. Um, but tell me what you think. Let me know if you've ever tried any Iris and Romeo or if you're going to go over there. If you do, tell them I said a big hello as I very, very much appreciate them thinking of me. A lot of people were asking me about this Anastasia Beverly Hills collection. What did you think? Did it meet or exceed your expectations? I am pleasantly surprised. This is not over the top for a glitter product. So good job, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I didn't think I'd be saying that. Let me know what you guys think. That's what makes us a community. Make sure that you share and like and, of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.